Livery of season. Livery of season. A ceremony performed in medieval England that affected the transfer of land from one party to another. Livery of season was the dominant method of transferring land in England until 1536, and it continued to be legal until 1925. The term livery of season means simply transfer of possession, livery means delivery and is from the old French livre, and season means possession and is from the old French sizer or seizure. The concept behind livery of season, therefore, was the symbolic transfer of the possession of land. The entire ceremony of transfer was called fefment with livery of season, with fefment meaning a gift, specifically a gift of a freehold interest in a parcel of land. The transferor was the fefer, the transferee was the fefi, and the land interest was the fief. In the Middle Ages, a livery of season was essential to convey land from one party to another, without it no real right to land could be transferred. When performing the ceremony, the fefa, the fefi, and their witnesses generally stood on the land itself, though it was permissible to stand within view of the land if the fefi made an actual entry to the land while the fefa was still alive. During the ceremony the fefa spoke appropriate words declaring the gift, and then handed the fefi an object representing that gift, such as dirt, turf, or a twig, or even a ring, a cross, or a knife. If a house was being transferred, the ring of the door might be exchanged. In addition to delivering possession of the land, the fefa needed to vacate the land. The fefa's tenants and others living on the land were expelled, along with their possessions. In some cases, the fefa performed a ceremony or gesture showing abandonment of the land, such as by making a sign with the hands, jumping over a hedge, or throwing a rod to the fefi. A livery of season was sometimes accompanied by a deed, or charter of fefment, written in Latin, which was used to call attention to the conveyance of land. This was often the case when the transfer in question had special political significance or when it involved complex boundaries. If a charter of fefment existed, it was read during the livery of season. However, such a charter did not in itself serve as a means of transferring land, rather, it was used simply as evidence that a transfer had taken place. Its language was not I hereby give but know ye that I have given. A charter of fefment by itself was not considered an agreement to transfer land, but had to be accompanied by a livery of season. During the Anglo-Saxon period in England, before the Norman conquest of 1066, the use of writing was rare, so few charters existed. After the Norman invasion, writing was used more often, but charters were still generally short and crude. Eventually, over a period of hundreds of years, the delivery of a charter or deed came to replace the delivery of dirt, twigs, or knives that had been used to convey land in the livery of season ceremonies. The Real Property Act of 1845, 8 and 9 Vict. Chapter 106, ENG, did not abolish livery of season, but it did allow deeds to be used freely as granting devices, which had the same effect. The Law of Property Act, passed in 1925, 15 and 16 G05, Chapter 20, ENG, finally abolished the livery of season ceremony. Further readings Bergen, Thomas F., and Paul G. Haskell. 1966, Preface to Estates in Land and Future Interests. Brooklyn, Foundation Press.